for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If it is the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. Cormier! And now, introducing the champion, this man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway.
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Cormier. and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by DC. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Final seconds here. I mean, how many can he take? Round two straight ahead. So there's the horn, that means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little bit. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that big leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Gotta check these kicks or Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. He's back in the position. This is where he has done a ton of And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Tyson Fury. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by DC. All right, hammer fist here by Cormier. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And they separate. Double leg. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm. Maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's in trouble. Oh, now he's in trouble.
take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by tap out and new! So we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star.